The 3rd of May 1808, also known as El Trace de Mayo de 1808 and Madrid, is a painting completed in 1814 by the Spanish painter Francisco Goya, now in the Museo del Prado, Madrid. In the work, Goya sought to commemorate Spanish resistance to Napoleon's armies during the occupation of 1808 in the Peninsular War. Napoleon I of France declared himself first consul of the French Republic on November 10, 1799, and crowned himself emperor in 1804. Because Spain controlled access to the Mediterranean, the country was politically and strategically important to French interests. The reigning Spanish sovereign, Charles IV, was internationally regarded as ineffectual. Even in his own court he was seen as a half-wit king who renounces cares of state for the satisfaction of hunting, and a cuckold unable to control his energetic wife, Maria Luisa of Parma. Napoleon took advantage of the weak king by suggesting the two nations conquer and divide Portugal, with France and Spain each taking a third of the spoils, and the final third going to the Spanish Prime Minister Manuel de Godoy. Godoy was seduced, and accepted the French offer. He failed, however, to grasp Napoleon's true intentions, and was unaware that his new ally and co-sovereign, the former king's son Ferdinand VII of Spain, was using the invasion merely as a ploy to seize the Spanish parliament and throne. Ferdinand intended not only that Godoy be killed during the impending power struggle, but also that the lives of his own parents be sacrificed. Under the guise of reinforcing the Spanish armies, 23,000 French troops entered Spain, unopposed in November 1807. Even when Napoleon's intentions became clear the following February, the occupying forces found little resistance apart from isolated actions in disconnected areas, including Zaragoza. Napoleon's principal commander, Marshal Joaquim Murat, believed that Spain would benefit from rulers more progressive and competent and Napoleon's brother Joseph Bonaparte was to be made king. After Napoleon convinced Ferdinand to return Spanish rule to Charles IV, the latter was left with no choice but to abdicate, on March 19, 1808, in favor of Joseph Bonaparte, Napoleon's brother. Although the Spanish people had accepted foreign monarchs in the past, they deeply resented the new French ruler. A French agent in Madrid wrote that, Spain is different. The Spaniards have a noble and generous character, but they have a tendency to ferocity and cannot bear to be treated as a conquered nation. Reduced to despair, they would be prepared to unleash the most terrible, courageous rebellion, and the most vicious excesses. On May 2, 1808, provoked by news of the planned removal by France of the last members of the Spanish royal family, the people of Madrid rebelled in the Dos de Mayo uprising. A proclamation issued that day to his troops by Marshal Murad read, The population of Madrid, led astray, has given itself to revolt and murder. French blood has flowed. It demands vengeance. All those arrested in the uprising, arms in hand, will be shot. Before dawn the next day, hundreds of Spaniards were rounded up and shot at a number of locations around Madrid. Civilian Spanish opposition persisted as a feature of the ensuing five-year Peninsular War, the first to be called Guerrilla War. Irregular Spanish forces considerably aided the Spanish, Portuguese. British armies jointly led by Sir Arthur Wellesley, who first landed in Portugal in August 1808, also aided the war. Like other Spanish liberals, Goya was placed in a difficult position by the French invasion. He had supported the initial aims of the French Revolution, and hoped for a similar development in Spain. Several of his friends, like the poets Juan Melendez Valdez and Leandro Fernandez de Moratin, were overt afrancesados. Goya's 1798 portrait of the French ambassador-turned-commandant Ferdinand Guillemardet betrays a personal admiration. Although he maintained his position as court painter, for which an oath of loyalty to Joseph was necessary, Goya had by nature an instinctive dislike of authority. He witnessed the subjugation of his countrymen by the French troops. During these years he painted little, although the experiences of the occupation provided inspiration for drawings that would form the basis for his prints. In February 1814, after the final expulsion of the French, Goya approached the provisional government with a request to perpetuate by means of his brush the most notable and heroic actions of our glorious insurrection against the tyrant of Europe. His proposal accepted, Goya began work on the 3rd of May. It is not known whether he had personally witnessed either the rebellion or the reprisals. If you would like to know the full story about the Peninsula War that inspired the paintings in this video, like and subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell.
Comment your thoughts too and tune in for our recent uploads. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.